much yellow players, we're going to go over Ba Ba Black Sheep. And one of the most important things to notice right off the bat is the key signature. You can see that we have one sharp, which means that we're in the key of G major, meaning that all the notes in this piece are from the G major scale. So we're going to warm up with the G major scale. I'm going to set my metronome to 85 beats per minute, and we're going to play half notes up and down the scale. Starting on open G, remember to keep all your fingers down. One, two, three, four. sheep is going to be at 85 beats per minute as well. We have eighth notes, quarter notes, and half notes. So we have to know how many of these clicks each note gets. So these clicks are quarter notes, right? If we have eighth notes, we have to play two notes per click. notes, we have to hold it long enough for two beats. So with that being said, I'm going to play through Ba Ba Black Sheet for you, and we'll break it down a little more afterwards. Remember that with this piece, we want a little space between our quarter notes. But remember, with our half notes, we want to make sure we hold those to the full value. I'll show you what I mean. One, two, three, four. So let's go over a few tricky things in there. The first thing that caught my attention was the changed rhythm in measure seven. So count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have quarter, and then we have four eighth notes in a row and then a quarter. So go over that measure a couple times. It's different than the rhythm we have two measures before that. Let's do an exercise. Let's play measure five, and then let's play measure seven. Measure five. One, two, three, four. One more time. Three, four. Here's measure seven. Three, four. the rhythm makes the piece a little more interesting, right? So we have to make sure that is exactly how it's printed in the music. Another thing to note is that our bowing is how it comes. We have little markings in there. You can see in the first measure, our first note has a down bow symbol over it. In our third measure, we have an up bow symbol above the first note. So we have to follow these. Note that there are no rests anywhere. So we are constantly moving our bow. It is a constant flow of sound. So now that we're aware of all the note values, the articulation of the bow, which is separating the notes or connecting the note, let's go through it start to finish with the metronome on, of course, at 85 beats per minute. All right.
So last reminder, we're in G major, we have one sharp, and that is our F sharp, third finger on the D string. We are kind of separating our quarter notes and making sure our half notes are held very long at its fullest value. And we went over the rhythmic differences, like in measure five and measure seven. So have fun with this, and again, like always, dial the metronome down a little bit if you need to, as much as you need to, and slowly dial it back up and you will make it to 85. So be patient and have fun. See you in the next video.